In this class, we're going to look at ways of characterizing the response of differential equation, and we're going to break that response into two pieces, the transient response and the forced response. Given a differential equation, for example, of the form x dot dot plus 3x dot plus 4x is equal to sine of t, the transient response is determined by this. This is the transient or natural response. The forced response comes from this. The transient response is characterized by the poles of the system, which come from the roots of the characteristic equation. And in this case, that would be lambda squared plus 3 lambda is equal, plus 4 is equal to 0. And they would find lambda 1 and lambda 2. The transient response is important because this is what the system does naturally. It's what it does if you don't put any inputs in, if you just move the system and let go of it. And stability of the system is determined only by the transient response. That's important. Stability from transient response. Thus, we will spend a lot of time looking at what do the roots of the characteristic equation of a system mean? What do the poles of a system mean? What does that mean for the transient response? It tells us how the system responds to inputs naturally and whether the system will be stable or unstable. The forced response is also important, but it's not considered in stability analysis. The forced response is a little bit simpler because it's something that we control. We can't control the internal differential equation for the system. But what we can control is what we put into the system, and that's the forcing function. Since our systems are linear, home, since our systems are linear ordinary differential equations with constant coefficients, superposition applies. This is important when considering the forced response because for a linear ODE, the steady state response, that is what happens after the transient response finally dies out, is that the output follows the same form as the forced input. So if I input a sine wave, that is the forced response, the forcing function is a sine wave. That means that eventually the output of the system will also be a sine wave at the same frequency. This is the same principle that we used when we found the Bode plots for a system. Because superposition applies, we can add inputs together and the result will be the sum of the outputs from the individual inputs, or we can multiply an input and the result of the output will be the original output multiplied by the same factor as the input.